The Financial Survival Network, helping you to survive and thrive in the new economy. Get our complimentary newsletter at FinancialSurvivalNetwork.com. This is the Financial Survival Network. Jason Hartman has helped thousands of people realize their dreams of financial independence through real estate investing. And now he's got an unbeatable offer for you. He's offering you his proven course that thousands have used to build an income property empire. And it's free to the first 100 Financial Survival Network listeners. Just go to jasonhartman.com slash Lutz and sign up today for cash flow and capital appreciation, there's nothing else like it. Make your money work as hard as you do by building an income property empire. Real estate is America's proven investment. Go to jasonhartman.com slash Lutz and get your free course today. That's jason, H-A-R-T-M-A-N.com slash Lutz. Thousands have paid nearly $300 for this course, but for the short period of time, you can get it free. You are listening to the Financial Survival Network.com. I'm Kerry Lutz on 1230 WBZT. There's an article on the Daily Caller called The New Face of Snap, which is the Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program, also known as Food Stamps, also known as the EBT card got this guy here surfer dude food stamps by lobster for surfer and his buddy and it's an interview by fox not my favorite uh, propaganda outlet but at least they give the other side of the propaganda and it's this guy jason greenslate and you know he's a stoner he's 29 years old from la jolla california That's by San Diego, Great Beaches, and he's a musician. He sings this song that he does not want, an MF job, and he has no guilt about living on $200 a month of what he calls free money or what the government calls supplemental nutrition assistance benefits while he avoids a job to hang out on the beach, sing, and chase women, which he seems to be good at. And I think he's a little hideous looking, and he's, he sounds like a valley guy. And he goes, he wakes up, goes down to the beach, hangs out with his friends, hits on some chicks, starts drinking. And that's what his day looks like. I mean, it sounds boring to me. I mean, you know... Like, I like to have a glass or two of wine, hang out by the beach. You know, sometimes you get a little buzzed from it. For me, having a drink is like just getting a little relaxation. That is an extremely mild form of intoxication. I'm not doing it to get high, but he likes to get high. And he goes, I surf every day. It's wonderful, man. Just get away from everything, clear your head, get out with the boys, have a good time. And, you know, this guy, he has no fixed address. The guy has no guilt, doesn't feel any compulsion to work. And when I was growing up, we had a term for a guy like this. He was a loser. And now... Basically, he's been enabled by the federal government to pretty much just do what he feels like doing, which is living a life of hedonistic pleasure. And hey, he can get away with it. It's all right. Be happy. Just live off the generosity, misplaced generosity of the federal government. It's wonderful. So he's got no fixed address. And he lives, bums off of family, friends, girlfriends, buys a little bit of food. Basically, he says, I don't got a paycheck coming in, so I qualify. And they go with him on a grocery shopping expedition with his EBT card. And he actually swipes the thing through the payment 
swiper and it works it pays for sushi lobster and coconut water and he says all paid for by our wonderful tax dollars and he says he usually gets sushi but makes it his own way but they didn't have any good fish today so he just got the pre-made stuff which i personally don't like i'd skip the sushi and get something else and green slate and his friends grilled the lobster along with chicken and hot dogs and shared the meat and he says he has no intention of getting a job that's not the direction i'm going in right now he says uh, his ambition is to be a rock star and it's going great he says about the state of his unemployment it's really going well this is the way i live and i don't see anything changing he says he doesn't see anything wrong with his lifestyle with his living off the largesse of the federal government you know it wasn't always like this but of course when obama came into office and the democrats took over all three branches of government the first thing they did was roll back the welfare reforms which required people um there were limitations on food stamps you actually had to go out and work and an able-bodied single adult with no kids could not get food stamps more than uh, for a few months and more than once every few years and that was an emergency there were all sorts of limitations that prevented a sponge a parasite like green slate from doing this so green slate comes along and then obama comes along pelosi and buying votes expanding their power oh hey don't worry about it jason here's an ebt card just give us your vote of course with no morality the kid sees nothing wrong with it i'm sure we all know people like this green slate guy all over you know these parasites exist all over and i'm not saying that most of the people collecting food stamps uh, are in the same position as green slate i think probably most of them need the help but it's no coincidence that they lessened the eligibility requirements and it's shot up over i think uh, there were something like 30 million people when bush left and now there's 50 million people it's gone up by about two-thirds i think don't quote me on the numbers could be off a little bit maybe it's only gone up by 40 percent whatever the number is it's a major major increase since obama came into office since the democrats lessen the eligibility requirements this year the republicans split the farm bill off from the food stamp bill they want to increase the eligibility requirements the democrats are having hissy fits about this how could you do this the two bills have been together for 40 years because that way it unites the farmers with with the parasites and everybody's happy hey for people who really need food stamps who can't don't have any other alternative for nutrition maybe it makes sense but look this wasn't how the country was built this wasn't what america was all about if you just heard my interview with ranting andy hoffman they don't have ebt cards in china now they're looking at unheralded prosperity in that country do you think there might be a connection between the two between no welfare state and prosperity do you think lack of a welfare state and prosperity there might be a connection i think there might be i think there might be something to it don't you let me tell you that every dollar that the federal government spends it comes out of somebody's pocket and it doesn't come out of a parasite's pocket it doesn't come out of somebody who's dependent upon the federal government it comes out of a producer's pocket and every dollar that comes out of a producer's pocket means that there's that much less that the producer can spend on investing in productive assets in any type of asset and the less that the productive party has to spend on an asset the less productive capacity is going to be invested in and the less productive capacity that's invested in 
the less productive pursuits will be engaged in by the population. The less productivity a society engages in, the less wealth they will have. The less wealth they have, the less wealthy the society will be, the poorer the society will be, the more people like Jason Greenslate will be feeding off of them, the less they'll have to produce for themselves, the more they'll, you know, it's a vicious cycle, let's, for, let's face it. The poorer the society will become, and eventually guys like Jason will not be able to feed off the public teat, and the poorer the entire society will be, and eventually the collapse will set in. Let's face it. This is what's going to happen here. There is no other way it can occur, because government cannot produce wealth. If you listen to the Financial Survival network for any amount of time i hope that's one thing you probably knew it before you even turned the dial here let's face it it's it's basic it's elemental it's fundamental it's just the way things are government can't create wealth because every dollar government has it had to take from somebody and if you say well gee they just printed it up well they took it from everybody then because it was inflated into existence, and that's the worst kind of tax that there is, let's face it. So that's the way it is. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. It's Kerry Lutz. Been another Triple Lutz Report signing off. Hi, it's Kerry Lutz. I recently decided to move my retirement account into physical precious metals to hedge against the coming times. If you want to move an existing retirement account into physical precious metals that you can hold in your hand tax-free, there's no company that can do it more quickly and efficiently than Regal Assets. It took them just 24 hours to open my new IRA account, and all I had to do was fill out one simple form. The best part is that Regal Assets does all the work for you. They cover the setup and administrative costs for 2013. If you're interested in making the same move I did, call 855-678-6620, 855-678-6620. That's 855-678-6620. Or visit them at regalassets.com. You'll be glad you did. And tell them Kerry sent you. The Financial Survival Network. Helping you to survive and thrive in the new economy. Get our complimentary newsletter at financialsurvivalnetwork.com. This is the Financial Survival Network.